Hey, Mark. So it's been running Ubuntu 8.10 for some time now. I'd like to move my podcasting from Windows 2000 uh, to my Ubuntu machine. Unfortunately, Audacity, uh, when it came with 8.10, it's beta. And one night I was chasing settings around until I found out the problem might actually be Audacity. So what's the easiest way to reset all of my audio settings so that I can get them back to the way I had them before? Thanks, and enjoy the show from Mark. Mark, if I understand your question correctly, you're asking how to reset the sound settings of Audacity, like the actual application, or your system. Two very different things. If it's just Audacity, um, I mean, quick nitty-gritty way, if you don't mind losing all the settings and reverting it back to normal, just uh, go into your home folder, hit Control H, and you'll see a folder that's hidden there, uh, dot audacity. Anything that starts with the hidden, uh, like the period, is going to be hidden. So you hit Control H so that you can see those hidden folders, right? Once you see the hidden folders, you see one that's called dot audacity. That's the hidden folder for audacity. It's the settings and things like that. It's going to contain all the audio settings and all the other stuff. Uh, if you now rename that folder, I'll say rename. Of course, if you're happy with doing this, you can just delete it, but just rename it for the first time. Just call it Audacity 5 or Audacity Temp or Audacity Back. And then that way, the next time you run Audacity, make sure it's closed, by the way, the next time you run it, it's going to recreate all the settings. It's going to recreate the folder and et cetera, et cetera. But by renaming it, now if something went wrong, you can just delete the new one and just rename it back to dot .audacity. That's why I suggest doing that. But if I get your question right, I think that's probably going to that's going to reset that for you. That's going to reset Audacity back to factory defaults kind of thing. Madge Noon just saying, I always make a backup folder and then move the folders. And it's a good idea. That's why I say rename it. Don't just delete it. unless. But then once you've run it and it works and you don't need the old one anymore, then delete it because you don't need it. But for the first time, you might, it might be nice to be able to revert back. Especially when it comes to stuff like Firefox or something along those lines where deleting it would actually make you lose your bookmarks and all that other stuff, your profile. So while running it again, we'll recreate the profile and blah, 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 you still lose your bookmarks, so you might want to be able to revert back, export them, and then be able to import them again. That kind of thing. So these are the, you know, these are the thought processes that go through my head. Why we do the things we do.